My name is Victoria Martinez and I am an artist and educator. I create textile-based works and paintings and also murals, public art that I create in collaboration with other artists so then different people in the neighborhoods can see it since I believe that work and art should be accessible to society. I usually start with materials. So I collect a lot of different textiles and textures and colors and patterns and then once I have all of those materials in hand, I start to produce and that's how the compositions and the work start to come to life. I love fabric because it includes everyone. We all need fabric to protect our bodies. It relates to fashion and it relates to history. Without having motifs and patterns and different dyeing techniques with different pigments, we wouldn't know our history. So I think that's really significant. And then also I think that relates different cultures and society and it's a way that can bring us together in one way or another. I'm trying to look for fabric that I think would complement the, like, the research I've been doing at, at the University of Chicago in terms of um, the African presence in Mexico and studying the different types of patterns and color palettes to do this. In terms of the African presence in Mexico, I first learned about it in 2011 when I visited Veracruz in Mexico. And that was the first time that I saw a mural of Africans and Mexicans working together in a field. And there was a didactic next to that painting and it was about the African presence in Mexico. And I had never heard about it before or learned about it in art school. So I really wanted to explore and research that history. And once I found out about the University of Chicago Arts Incubator Residency, I applied for it because I thought it was the perfect time to do that research. So throughout my residency in the past 10 months, I met with professors and students who were also studying that. And that led me to producing different textile-based projects, including both African and Mexican patterns and motifs. And then I also started working with youth at Chicago Youth Programs here in Washington Park and then in Gage Park through the National Museum of Mexican Art. So then together we worked on a series of three different parachutes and then we we activated the parachutes here in Washington Park, so they incorporated both mark making and both histories. I decided on the parachutes because I feel that it connects people. Growing up through the CPS system here in Chicago, my school was underfunded, so we didn't really have too many neat toys or tools during gym. And the parachute was one thing that brought us all together as a group, and I have a lot of good memories playing with that parachute and how beautiful a parachute is in a space and how much life it brings to a space and how sophisticated and simple a piece of fabric can be. I also have a screen print that I created. It's titled South Prairie Avenue and what I did was I went on a walk down South Prairie Avenue from the incubator and then I started photographing different plants and flowers and abandoned balloons and fences and construction sites. And then what I did was I collaged it and then I screen printed that and I produced a series of 30 prints. One of the reasons why I really want to find out parts of the truth about the African presence in Mexico is because I grew up in Chicago. I grew up on the west side in Pilsen. At a young age, I realized that we were segregated as a culture, but also as a city. And I just kept on questioning why aren't there parks where there's both cultures or why aren't there libraries with both cultures involved or the schools. So that's part of the reason why I was motivated to, to do this research. And also as a teaching artist, I'm normally placed in either Mexican-American schools or African-American schools. And still, to this day in 2018, there's still a lot of segregation. And that motivates me to continue with this research so then when I grow as an artist, I can produce some sort of citywide projects involving both cultures and the history. The University of Chicago Arts Incubator Residency, I loved it. 
There was so much support and I got to meet a lot of different people and I got to expand my practice with a drone and also with the laser cutter and I was granted a travel fund to go to Washington DC so I can study at the textile museum but also the National Museum of African Art. So all of that during these last 10 months really gave me a new perspective of my practice and where I can go next. For me, Chicago is everything. This is where I grew up, this is my hometown, and if it wasn't for the city, then I wouldn't be the artist who I am. And it really motivates me and it inspires me to give back to youth. And also, there's so many different pockets in the city and within the neighborhoods that have so much beauty and poetry. And if it wasn't for the urban environment, then my work wouldn't exist. <laughs>